What is going on, YouTube? This is your boy Cash Hour, the coach of the New York Kingdom Kings, sitting here alongside our boy CB. Hey, what is good, guys? Welcome back to another week at the WWCL. Uh, we're here. We're going to be recapping a little bit of what happened during uh, week two, as you guys have seen on on the YouTube page. We got all of our battles all loaded up. We're going to cover a little bit of our viewpoint of what happened during those battles and then show you guys where we currently are with the standings, any changes that the coaches may have done, and give you a sneak preview of the next week's battles. Uh, so without further ado, the first battle that occurred was the Problematic Porygons, coached by Lime, taking on the Waterville Weavals, coached by Nate. Yes, okay, so Cash, this was a really good game overall. It was really close, really well played, because both sides had some really cool, interesting tech. Uh, Lime brought the Arboliva with a Seed Sower, so he was just setting up Grassy Terrain every time he takes a hit, so that's a really nice ability. So he would just get passive recovery up each and every turn, and he also ran Lead Seed, so he was able to just keep recovering and keeping his that Pokemon alive throughout one the turn, I think. He got his Pokemon back to full health from all three. It was like Leftovers, the Leech Seed, <laughs> and, the, and, and the Grassy Earth. Terrain, yeah. yeah. Freaking nasty combination is that he can just live and live and live forever. The one thing I learned in this battle was that Dash Button gets wished. <laughs> that too, I did not know that Dash Button did get wished. But full tech on Nate's part, and he did run Baby Doll Eyes Cash, which is priority, and so that would lower an attack by one, so that would help him live, uh, let's say, a, a Sneasler, Dire Claw, or a. Uh, Shin Pao, Icicle Crash, something like that. You know, really cool tech. I hit Nate's part. I thought it was a really good battle. Well played on both sides. Unfortunately for Nate, he just kind of fell into the Sneasler trap of just getting unfortunate status. Yeah, that the Dire Claw, he didn't need. The Dire Claw roulette was like, all right, this one's asleep. I think one fell asleep, and I think one got paralyzed. Yeah, one para went <laughs> asleep, and it's just unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, that was it was a decent match. Uh, nonetheless, uh, from two of our veteran uh, coaches. Um, next, the second battle of that week, the San Diego Charizards, coached by Blaze, versus the Emerald and Amerson, uh coached by Kurt. I, I believe this is the battle I think we both uh, picked the side. Yes, you picked, I think, I think I picked Blaze? I, no, I think I picked Did Kurt, and I think you picked Blaze. Okay, that sounds right, but I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, um, but either way, it was a really good battle. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of hacks on Kurt's side. He got some unfortunate crits that just really, and a miss also, that really hurt him in the end because he probably would have been able to win or pull out the win versus Blaze. But unfortunate, a crit on, from Blaze's Zamazenta crowned on Kurt's pincher and really hurt him badly because he was going to go for a discharge to bring Zamazenta into range of one of his other Pokemon to be able to get the knockout on it. The one, the one benefit is Grandpa got a kill. Grandpa. Ma Mastiff got a kill. Yes, like, the Grandpa kinda, dog. I was kind of hyped because I didn't know what it was going to do when I first saw it. And I'm like, come on, Grandpa, do something. Grandpa got that one kill. I think it was on Gengar. Yep, he, um, he was running uh, He was running the Fighting Resist Berry, so he took a Focus Blast and then killed it with Crunch. But yeah, it was actually, I think... Out of all the battles, I think that one was probably my favorite one because it really came down to the wire. I mean, and, it was a 1-0, so definitely really close. And I guess it kind of showed because I think we were kind of like, okay, Blaze supercharged his team. Like we kept saying he handicapped, he got the big handicap. Yeah. But Kurt, sure enough, I remember Kurt used to be like our... Uh, our punching our, bag. Our punching bag, but look, a 1-0 victory on a, on a really strong team, so... Well, uh, one I, I, but a loss. But. Yeah, one a loss, but I applaud both of the coaches nonetheless. It was actually really, really good. Absolutely. Uh, our third week battle, the Sarasota for Alligators, coached by Shane, taking on the Straw Hat Swampers, coached by Lindo. Yes, so Cash, this game was pretty simple for, on Lindo's part. He just set, said, hey, man, I've got spikes. I've got hazard set up. I'm going to set up a bunch of spikes, and then I'm just going to use my Volt Turn Core to just wear you down uh, so I can get everything into range of my horse, or his ghost horse, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, and he's just going to click Shadow Ball Training Kiss and just really rip through Shane's team once he got everything into range. Yeah, and it was... It's funny, because uh, Grimnate was what he dropped uh, Annihilate for. And yes. 
it was something I was like kind of looking at. Like, hmm, I know it's really, really fast. I'm like, but Annihilate is like really, really good. Um, I mean, but both are very good. But yeah, he showed up. He's like, yeah. And he got like three, four kills in that game. Um, right? I got four, actually. Oh, okay, then. Yeah. Also, I keep forgetting. <laughs> so, <laughs> this Pokemon, we keep getting this Pokemon. Well, you keep getting this Pokemon's name wrong. Spectre. You keep calling it by his ability name. <laughs> yes, that's what's always the problem. Spectre. I, was like, I kept saying, I'm saying Grimne. I'm like, Grimne. I was like, <laughs> I why does that sound weird? Yeah. Grimne. I'm like, no, <laughs> Spectre. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, the, the, the ghost horse is what, ha- what they would have to do. We'll, we'll exactly. Um, and it has special moxie, so every time he gets a kill, it gets a plus one to boost to a special attack, so it becomes snowballing after a certain point. Yeah, I... Damn, maybe I should have picked that up. <laughs> you should have. We should never let Lindo have it. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe I'll, I'll get it off, but we'll see. Uh, the fourth battle was the Carolina Roy Moon versus uh, coached by Owen taking on the Manchester United coached by Liam. Our boy Liam versus Owen. A really good match again. Both sides really well done. Unfortunately for Liam, he just had some, well, he just could not break the Owen offense of Sun, or not even really Sun because he didn't bring Sun, but just the Dragapult, the Hilligant, Hisuian was able to just get the plus two uh, with the victory dance, and that is just pretty much GG because it swept Liam from that point on. Yeah, he brought all three of his uh, Hisui mods, so Hisui, Hisui was being represented in this battle. Shout um, out to Legends of Arceus. <laughs> yeah, I and I, said, I think I said this before, I think everything with, so far with Liam's battle has the number five in it. <laughs> so Yeah, it does. <laughs> so he, his Dragonite got five kills, and then Kurtz, who his opponent was last week, got five kills with the Gudra. And now uh, his opponent this week's Lilligan had a, got five kills. So if this continues being a, a trend, Liam is, is essentially going to be now lucky number five. But it's either his it's his luck or your luck of who's getting uh, five kills with something. Well, we'll just have to find out next week and see what happens. Uh, and then the last battle taking place between us. <laughs> oh yeah what do you know oh uh, yeah i mean so I, do you want to go for it do you want to start or should i, <laughs> I mean, you can go because you'll, you'll probably know more than what i was doing <laughs> <laughs> okay so what so the beginning battle cash you let off with your electros i let off with don as off a u-turn and then when it's a don fan because i figured you were just gonna either click volt switch or knock off and i figured you were either assault vest of some kind or something like that time flip thing along the lines of that uh so my two things i was thinking was i was either going to click knock off to get up to knock off whatever item you had on your pokemon and mm. or click stealth rocks to set up stealth rocks because i figured that would really be helpful for chip and i was debating on both and or whether or not to use either or yeah i think you actually went with the rocks and then no i clicked i clicked knock off i knocked off your uh, expert was, belt on the yeah, Electros. Like expert belt. And then, later and then you later revealed the rocks. Yes, and then later on you revealed. Actually, no, I did. I set up spikes. Never mind. That's what I did. I did not set up rocks that entire game. But you revealed the Giga Drain, which lowered the Dawn fan. Um, and then I cut, then I went into my Gudra because it had Sap Sipper. And, yeah, uh, I, did I did it again. <laughs> yes, you gave it Sap Sipper again. Uh, and then you click Giga Drain again. Then you click Volt Switch and then you switched into. I think it was your Don Dozo, yes. And I thought you were going to be like more physical defensive cash and then do the curse, the whole curse stuff. But I understood your whole point of just doing like more specially tanky. Uh, yeah, that's what Lisa. I think I was, spe- I was specially defensive, but I did have curse. Yes, I remember that. Cause, uh, and then you were, because I thought you were going to be like rest, sleep, talk, and then liquidation or something like that or body press. Uh, but you were a crunch. You were no ice fang and like some water move and rest and what else? Uh, Ice Fang, Liquidation, Crunch, no. Ice Fang, Liquidation, Rest, and Curse, yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's what you were. You didn't have Sleep Talk. No, I think I thought about it, and then, uh, I was like, nah. Um, I needed, I wanted something to boost just in case I was able to actually just keep living. Yeah. Um. So that's why I didn't go with the with the sleep talk this time around. Fair. 
Um, and then like, uh, what was it? So then our, throughout our battle, I'm just going through the memories. Uh, excuse, so excuse me. Uh, so <laughs> you then, so then we wrote, lower it down. Then you switch out into I think it was your Garganagle, right, Cash? That annoying go, salt monkey thing. No, it's a Garganagle. I think I did Garganagle yeah. things. Yes, yeah, so you clicked um, the salt chair. You annoyed it. Uh, you went into Overquill. I yep. killed it, but you killed me with Destiny Bond. Yes, that's right. I caught the Electrostle with the Destiny Bond. That was a fun tech. I was like, when I, when I clicked, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Electro then started killing things. I, I got to, yes. to at the end. Yeah, but then just... uh, Valiant took over. Yeah, that's what the whole thing changed, Cash, is when I was able to get the Valiant in and get the plus one and the booster energy off, which didn't really matter because most of your team out, got outsped by it, and I don't think you were running anything speed. Uh, I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have speed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, is, what, is, what is speed to my team? We don't care about speed. Exactly. <laughs> and that's when the Valiant was able to start clicking, clicking close combat because it was a mixed Valiant, so I had close combat, I had Moon Blast, and Ice Punch for the Lando. And I think something else. I just don't remember what. Oh, was it Thunderbolt? It was Thunderbolt to hit the Don Delza because I was afraid of that thing. Gotcha. But yeah, I did slightly better. It's like still a little off, but still a good game anyway. At least it's coming, no, it's no, coming it was, back. <laughs> it was definitely a good game. Yeah, it's Happy still slightly coming back. <laughs> You're getting the hang of it, man. Um, It's like I do have to like, because I guess the one benefit I have from this compared to I guess the cartridge, like I do have a second to like second guess myself. Yeah, because in cartridge I did have a habit of clicking first, and I'm like, no, I didn't want to click that. And here I do have the opportunity to do so, but it's just like sometimes like, do I really want to cancel it? Well, my gut feeling, and sometimes it's it's fifty fifty. Right. Yeah. Um, I think the one time I wanted to attack, um, I should have with what I wanted to do, and I clicked something else. And then the second time was the uh, the bolts like I didn't in my head I was like I clicked bolt switch I'm like no I probably shouldn't and it was too late to cancel it. Yeah. And then with the Giga Drain, I was already thinking like maybe he'll swap out. I know I'll just go ahead and kill something and then I'm like, alright, so snap zipper. So but, I mean right place overall. Yeah. So with those battles done, the this is now the current standings for the league and clean it up nicer for you, C V. <laughs> I mean Third place is not bad for a person who has not played in a very long time. Yeah, so uh, as you guys can see, last place is yours truly. Um, well, I guess it's a three-way tie, but I guess if you go by differential, I am truly in last place. Uh, yes. The Waterville Weavals in ninth place, and the Emerald Enamorous in eighth. Now Chester United in seven, Straw Hat Swampers in six. Uh, now on the other side, Problematic Porygons in fifth, Sarasota for Alligators in fourth, Brooklyn Scissors in three. San Diego Charles in second, and the Carolina Roaring Moon in first place. Um, and as you can clearly see, everything is pretty much in two different brackets. We have three teams in the 2-0 uh, club, three teams in the 0-2 club, and, and we have four in one and one so, so it'll be interesting to see who joins the 2-1 and one and who joins the 3-1. and one. Oh, 3-0. Yeah, so we'll see who keeps who keeps their undefeated streak. <laughs> who keeps the undefeated streak alive? Who keeps, alive. Their, who keeps their undefeated losing streak? And oh, who who joins the mixed bag uh, club? <laughs> who gets the first win of the out of the undefeated on the not the undefeated on the on the loss squad? Yeah. I guess. You... We'll, we'll start we'll start taking side bets. You guys, write in the comments <laughs> who you think to be the last one to get the win, and it will be kind of funny if all three of us next week actually win. That would be hilarious. Um, Cause I do believe that we're all fighting different opponents. We'll check when we get to the to that bit. Um, so now the MVP race. We got so I believe these two Pokemon were first and second respectively last week. Um, um, yes. Actually, yeah. Well, let me see if I can. Actually, maybe no, no, no. Because it would have been it would have been lit, uh, would have been the Owens first, and then I think it would have been. Either Liam's or Kurt's uh, Pokemon next because uh, they were both five and one or five. No, Liam would be next because he was uh, five and zero. Oh, okay, uh, so yeah, un so unironically, every poke on this screen minus one was in the top five the previous week. Uh, yeah. The only Pokemon not represented that was that's here now is Lilligant, uh, Hisuian Lilligant. 
Uh, the Pokemon that's no longer here is a uh, Roaring Moon. Unfortunate. Yeah. So Shane is is out. Uh, Owen is in, and everyone else remains. But just they're positioning pretty much flipped upside down, ironically. Because last week Dragonite was in first, Hudra was in second, Zamazenta was in third, uh, Roaring Moon was in fourth, and Electro was in fifth. And now Let's we go. have Dragonite in fifth, <laughs> Gudra in fourth, Electro in third, Zamazenta in second, and Litigate in first. Um, now, I just say one thing, Cash. Just one thing. Are we out of thing? all, I mean, out of all the Pokemon here, the one that's the most surprising is the Electrode. Yeah. So I, I said it. I said it also the previous week that a, a Hisui Electro is probably the one thing I really enjoyed using from the Hisui stuff. Yes. It was in my actual party team and all that. So I'm actually glad that's actually in the MVP race. As am I. I don't think anyone's expecting to have its current record as is. <laughs> no. Um, but we'll see. So right now, it's it's trailing the 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 other two mods just by two uh, two, two kills. kills. Uh, so we I can also get his differential up, but we'll see. If we get Electrode as the MVP at the end of this entire thing, that would be actually I'm hype. <laughs> I, w I won't get a victory lap in. It's like, you know, CV will get a victory. We will record CV doing a victory lap just for the election. <laughs> um, in terms of drops this week, only one thing, surprisingly, you know, I know. Yes, I know. I didn't drop 90 things and Lindo didn't drop 90 things. We only got one one drop this is from the San Diego Charizards. Uh, Blaze is dropping Sandakana and Wordier. And picking up the Earth Ring and the Wish Cash. Yeah, uh, I talked to Blaze, and he was like, he really wanted to keep both of them if he could have. Uh, on, and the Warbadier and the Earth Ring, but he had to make a choice. So he said he was going to pick up the Earth Ring again, and because he originally had it on his pre-original draft, I believe he said. Uh, so he then dropped it for Warbadier, thinking that would be the better option. But he changed his mind and went to. The bear. And then, and then he also picked up the derpy looking fish that's also water and ground. And yeah, gets spikes. I know Santa Conda is a really good uh, pick. So we'll see what, he, so what he's cooking that he that he opted for the wish catch. I'm assuming which Santa Conda and Earth Ring were in the same tier. And the Were Deer and the Wish Catch are the same tier. So I'm assuming it's one of those like, well, I have to drop something to get this thing. So I'm assuming because he really wanted Earth Ring. Yes. He knew he had to get rid of a. Uh, Sandaconda for that same position, and then obviously he did. He did. He did well, I have to get rid of the. <laughs> I have to get rid of the deer, which I don't want to, and I'll pick up the fish to replace my ground type. I think also Blaze is going to run Dragon Dance with Cash and oh, uh, probably joy. win. Oh joy! I guess I'm going to be <laughs> looking out for that. He's probably going to do it against me because I don't have speed. <laughs> Well, um, maybe you can probably beat Blaze either way. We'll see about see, that. <laughs> you have the PXG luck. Remember that, Cash. True. Like, without I, since Blaze does not play, will refuse to play it. You still get that bonus PXG experience and bonus power. Watch just for that battle deck. I did start playing it. I'm a bit. I don't think we. Can. <laughs> it's been over ten years. I, I don't know, think. We... I know. I know. But he's still gonna have the name no matter what. No, um, it's just history at this point. All right, so now for for the week three battles that are coming up, our first battle, CB, the Brooklyn Scissors are going to be taking out the Sarasota for Alligators. I, I correct me if I'm wrong because you're the historian too. This was the playoff match back to back season one, season two, yeah. Uh, season one, yes. Yeah, season two was Lime. It was Lime. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was like it was Shane and both back to back uh, playoff spots. Nah, I did play Shane. I don't know if he was. I'm pretty sure he was in playoffs, but I don't think I played him week two, season two. Uh, but I know I did play him for the championship for season right, two. So if anything, we can say this is the original season one championship. Yeah, the finals run. All right, so we're getting that run back a couple seasons later. Several seasons later. Several seasons later. Um, this will be a very interesting match from like extremely veteran coaches. Uh, the second battle of the week is going to be the Emerald and Amorous taking on the Waterville Weavile. So, <laughs> someone is getting a win. 
Someone's getting a win. Someone <laughs> is getting a win. So remember, for those for those keep no the do no side bets, one of them is getting a win. So either pick Kurt or Nate. My so money's gotta, on Nate. So you gotta pick see Kurt. I'm gonna still, I still gotta go for for Kurt. Like, like Kurt's doing so good. I I have I cannot root against. You can't him. just give up. I can't. Just give up. I'm gonna stick with my guns. I'm Kurt's gonna get that win. Uh, not ah. obviously no no disrespect to Nate, but it's like I, Kurt Kurt is like. He's, he he wants it. He, I, he's salivating for it. <laughs> Kurt's just after him, man. He's like a hungry, hungry dog, just Kurt, waiting for that dog. You know, dog. you know, in wrestling where like they start pacing back and forth in the ring, waiting for you to come out, like to. Yes. Yeah, that's Kurt right now. That's Kurt wanting that <laughs> win so badly right now. He's like, come on, yeah. come on, bring out, come on. And he's got his bottle of ketchup with him too, Cash. <laughs> so one of them is gonna get the win. Um, well, hopefully, it's gonna be a good match, nonetheless. Hopefully. The third battle of the week is going to be Captain and First, <laughs> first Class. Captain we got <laughs> Liam and Lindo. The Captain versus his first mate. How is it going to go down, Cat? Will Liam be able to do what he did before and just tap into his ungodly knowledge of Pokemon and just show Lindo the work? Or will Lindo finally get revenge versus Liam? I remember we got the, the, the five, the, the current five luck. So, yes. I because I remember one season Liam swept Lindo with a Raichu. I, I don't remember if it was a six. I think it was a six zero. Yeah, uh, I believe so. Yes. Um. So maybe there's something Liam's gonna pull out. Maybe get a sweep. Maybe. maybe. I, mean, I mean, we also got Lindo does have Ghost Horse. Maybe he's gonna go for a sweep with that. Who knows? Um. So I just want to see if the number five comes into play again. That's all I, I want to see. Because at this point I... now, it's gonna be. It's like uh, I don't I forgot the name of that show like, with the guy with the aliens. Like, the number five. <laughs> yes, it's, it's a curse. Like right now, there's a curse. It's a curse looming over Liam with the number five. Will um, Liam be able to break the curse though, Cash? We'll have to find out. Yeah. Our fourth battle: the San Diego Charizards taking on the Carolina Royal So, just like we're gonna have a a coach getting their first win. We're going to have a coach get their first loss. We're going to have a coach getting their first loss. Um, as much as I give him shit, you know I got to root for my boy Blaze. Shout um, out to Blaze. Blaze. <laughs> like he, he's going to yell at me because I keep calling his team the handicap team. But uh, he's going to even without that, he's already shown that. Um, we're still going to call it the handicap team. He can yell at us. He's gonna, yeah, he can yell at us. us. But. At least he the one thing is all while, he wants. He's, while he's brought the, the two Pokemon, he's actually only really utilized more or less one each time. Yes. Um, this is actually the first time Palafin even did anything. Um, I don't oh, yeah, think he got to do anything the last week. No, because he, he just swept with a stupid Zamazenta crown. Yeah, and it's also funny because he, he never flip turns it out. He just raw tags it out. He I just mean, kinda like he just like does deuces and we don't see it again. This is the first time we actually saw it come back. <laughs> I mean, and it got two kills, so actually, yeah, they both they both got the kills. The only kills, the only people that got kills on for his week was Palafin and Zamazenta. But Zamazenta is still the one that's getting who's the most work. Yeah. So he is the one currently putting the team on his back. Yeah, um, pretty much. So we're gonna see Zamazenta, Lilligant. Who is gonna carry carry the coach to victory? Um, and mm. then finally, yours truly is gonna be battling the problematic Porygons. Our boy Connor, aka Lime. Uh, Lime is known for cooking up some some sets. Lime kind of knows more or less how I think too. Uh, I yeah. think I, I've only ever beaten Lime once throughout uh, that I, at least that I remember from our league battles, and it was unironically during a playoff. <laughs> I didn't beat him in the regular season, but somehow but magically you... I beat him in the playoff where it actually did matter more. You beat him when it matters. That's all that counts. And I think it was one of those, like, I even I gasped that I won. <laughs> it was not like a, yeah, I beat you. It was more like a, oh, shit. <laughs> I beat him. Wait, what? Yeah, I, like, I won? Question mark? <laughs> it's like my hand was being raised. Like, wait, me? <laughs> me? Yeah, and, and Connor's like, yeah, you won. <laughs> and I think, I think Connor's the one that actually said it, too. Like, hey, you won when it mattered. So... That's all that matters. Yeah, it's, it's like that matters. movie. What's that movie, Cash? Oh, any given Sunday, just like that movie. Right. Uh, I'm sure Blaze or other people will know that reference. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna have people tell you that yo, I got that reference. <laughs> they, 
You got a vast majority of our culture. Like, I got that reference, and the other half of the culture is going to be, huh? <laughs> like, what no, is we'll this? <laughs> we'll be able to tell who watches, who likes sports and who doesn't. Yeah, I barely watch movies, and I, yeah, I and I don't watch sports, so I did not get to it. So don't you don't you're, you worry, rest of YouTube. I don't understand. I don't get it, but I kind of get it. <laughs> you're also picky than more than anybody else I know. That is also true, but irrelevant. <laughs> All right, guys. With that, that is the end of um, week two. Week the week two recap. Um, as you guys have been seeing, we drop those videos out uh, as soon as we can. Um, the the ironic thing is the fact that the battles do tend to happen out of order. So what I might do is, even though I named the battles obviously as they were, if a battle comes out early, maybe I'll just swap the the name for "Make That Battle One." Now we guys have enough time before that and the recap. We'll see. It also depends on how busy and how free I am. But as always, make sure to like, subscribe, find out when that next video is coming out. Again, this is your boy, Cash Howard, the coach of the New York Nito Kings. And that, once again, is CB, the coach of the Brooklyn Scissors. Let's go, baby. All right, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and enjoy the week. Laters. Later. Later.